character. Woke up at 11 o'clock, I ain't got no job, what the hell? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be answering your questions regarding my plastic surgery. And I actually made a video six months ago of my plastic surgery experience. That video has all the vlog clips and the actual experience. So if you guys want more information, you should probably watch that first. I know most of you guys who watch that video and are watching this video is interested or planning on getting plastic surgery. So I wanted to make this video as informative as I can. So I wrote everything down on my laptop so I don't forget. I got some questions on my experience video and also I've been getting a lot of DMs lately. So I decided to make this video. I know it's very overdue but i will also leave down timestamps down below just in case you guys came for like a specific question so let's get started the procedures that i got are epicanthoplasty ptosis correction rhinoplasty chin liposuction and jaw botox For my eyes, I got epicanthoplasty and ptosis correction, like I said. I will leave a brief information right here. There are three main shapes in Korea for double eyelid surgery, and they're called inline, outline, and in outline. The doctor recommended that I do the in outline, which is the most common in Korea, and I knew that I wanted to get the in outline as well, and we agreed to doing the in outline. But I do feel like my eyes now are different shapes, and I will get into that later and the downsides of surgery. For my rhinoplasty, I used silicone on the nose bridge and nasal septa cartilage for the nose tip. And usually people like to use silicone for the nose bridge and for the nose tip, there are different materials you can use like the one I used which is a cartilage from inside the nose people also like to use ear cartilage which is softer also there's like cartilage from your rib cage I think but the doctor recommended me to use nasal septic cartilage because it is a harder material and my nose was too small and not strong enough to hold the ear cartilage. There are different nose shapes in Korea as well. And I will say this in Korean because I don't know any English terms for it. Poson, Bamboson, Chikson, and Chikban. I know in the pictures it doesn't look like there's a difference, but there is a difference on the tip of the nose. And basically, Chikson and Chikban are straighter, and Bamboson and Poson kind of goes upwards on the tip. I asked for the Chikban shape, which I think is the most natural out of those four, but I do feel like my nose is not the shape that I asked for, which I will get into later. For the chin liposuction, I got it on the sides of my chin and also on my double chin. And my jaw botox, that went away now. Also, I got my eyes done three days prior to getting all the other procedures and I got it done at another hospital. I was actually worried about that too, that's why I asked them first but they did say that after eye surgery, only the eye area swells up so it won't matter For the eyes, I didn't show the doctor any pictures because I wanted something natural for my eyes and I didn't want someone else's eyes on me so I just left it up to him For the nose doctor though, I did show him pictures of Red Velvet's Joy I felt like her nose was close to the one I wanted and so I did show him that picture and if you are interested in getting plastic surgery do bring a lot of pictures, I feel like it does help them it's better to show them as much as you can and honestly, words can can't fully describe what you want, so it's better to show them. I also brought in like drawings, so I think that's fine too. But I do want to tell you guys not to expect your results to be exactly like the pictures. They can't really turn your face into like a celebrity's, but just bring it as reference. There are so many steps in the surgery process, like the anesthesia, when they actually perform the surgery, taking stitches out, and the healing process. And the pain is different for every step of the surgery. Also, pain is different for everyone. 
I use local anesthesia for my eyes like I said in my experience video Basically, I was awake during the whole procedure and it took a total of four and a half hours I would say the overall pain for eye surgery was a four out of ten The only part that hurt a little bit was putting in the anesthesia and also during the procedure when the anesthesia would slowly go away And I would have to ask them to put in more. That's when it kind of hurt Also taking the stitches out hurt a little bit. It just felt like a little pinch for the nose, they used general anesthesia, so I could not feel the surgery process. There was no pain until after the surgery, but even after the surgery, I didn't really feel any pain. I just felt very numb on my nose. Also, I had a headache and I just felt like very nauseous. Also, I couldn't breathe because they put in very long pieces of cotton up your nose after the surgery and they take that out a few days after. The only part that actually hurt a lot was taking out that cotton. Since it's like very high up your nose when they take it out it hurts so much i think that was the most painful out of the whole surgery procedures but it's only for the moment it only takes like two seconds taking out the stitches for my nose didn't hurt that much either because my nose was still pretty numb from the surgery i would say the overall pain was a five out of ten for the chin liposuction and gel botox, I got it at the same time I got my rhinoplasty and so I couldn't feel the surgery process but even after the surgery, the gel botox obviously you cannot feel For the chin liposuction, I would say it didn't hurt that much I think it's because I didn't take out an excessive amount of fat on my chin Obviously compared to other places in the body like your thighs or stomach there's not that much fat on the double chin so I would say the overall pain was a 2 out of 10 It was just very swollen after the surgery but that's just something i can deal with for me the major swelling lasted a month but i did not look quite normal even after a month i would say after three months is when you start looking normal but swelling is different for everyone too and i did get a lot of procedures at once swelling for nose and eye surgery goes down for a whole year right now even eight months after the surgery the swelling is still going down I got a lot of questions on the cost of the surgery. I know this is a big part and surgeries can be quite expensive. I got it in Korea so it was a lot cheaper than getting it in the US. The cost also varies on what kind of hospital you go to, what doctor you get it from, your facial features and type of surgery and more. Generally, eye surgery can cost anywhere from 1000 to 5000 or more dollars. For my epicanthoplasty and ptosis correction, it costs around 4.5k which I think is on the expensive side. Nose surgery is usually a bit more expensive than eyes and it can cost anywhere from usually $2,000 to $6,000. Mine costs around 2.5K and that is on the cheaper side. I don't know how much chin liposuction usually costs. I think it depends on the amount of fat you're taking out and there's a lot of factors that can change the cost but mine cost around $500 and jaw botox costs around $70 obviously with traveling and stays the cost can be more expensive but I didn't think it was necessary to say how much it costs to travel and stay there I know so many people are curious about the hospital I think the most questions I got was on the hospital and the doctor but I cannot say it on YouTube apparently and I do not want to risk anything, so I'm not going to say it, but I will give you guys tips on how to find a good hospital. The hospital for my eyes was in Gangnam, and for the other surgeries, it was in Apgujang. Since I can't give the hospital name, I will give you guys tips on how to find a good hospital. Number one, do your research. I know this is very basic, but I did so much research before going to Korea. I downloaded these two Korean plastic surgery apps and they are called Gangnam Onni and Barbie Talk. And those two apps have reviews for most hospitals in Korea and they also have pictures. So I thought that was really helpful, but be careful when you go on the app because I heard there's people that write fake reviews for money and there are so many hospitals in korea good and bad so i think that's why it's really important to do your research number two consult with a lot of hospitals and this is something i couldn't get to do because i only had a week to consult with hospitals and i do encourage you to consult with more because consultation is free and why not take advantage of that you know also when you get to speak with a lot of hospitals you will notice like what kind of hospitals you lean towards 
more to also you will notice that some of the doctors they just recommend you so many procedures that you're not even interested in because that's what happened for me number three watch videos on youtube there are so many youtube videos on plastic surgery and there's so many experience videos so go watch those a lot of them are sponsored but don't be afraid of sponsored videos because the youtuber probably did a lot of research before agreeing to do the sponsorships also i watched a lot of korean youtubers i do feel like compared to people that live outside of korea korean people have a lot more knowledge on the hospitals just because they live there and they probably hear a lot of things and they're more updated on the news I didn't use any third-party services, so I know nothing about them. And I did all the research on my own because I do know how to speak Korean. But if you don't, I, I really recommend getting a friend to help you or get a translator. I can make a whole nother video about why I got my surgery, but I will narrow it down to two main reasons. Number one is for my eye surgery, and I got my eyes done because I put on eyelid tape for five years, and it was just really annoying and time consuming, and also when I put on makeup, it did not look good with the tape, so that's why I decided to get eye surgery for convenience. Reason two is very obvious, but it was literally just to make myself look better. I think the two things I was most insecure about growing up was my nose and my face shape and how I had so much fat on my face too and I do feel like it was kind of because of like the Korean I think growing up as a Korean, I got judged for a lot of things from my family and adults around me. I don't want to say all Koreans are judgmental, but they kind of judge me for my looks, my body, my personality. And I do feel like a lot of you guys can relate to this. The most comments I got were about my nose being too small and flat. And when I was little, I did not care at all because I didn't really care about what I looked like. But as I was growing up, I started noticing it and I got pretty insecure about it. So that is why I decided to get no surgery. And for the chin liposuction and gel botox, I got it because I didn't like my facial shape and facial structure. I didn't want to do any major surgeries for that, so that's why I got pretty minor surgeries. So basically, I tried to fix my insecurity by getting plastic surgery. I'm not saying this is a good thing. This is actually not a good thing. I wouldn't say I regret getting plastic surgery, but there are parts of my surgery journey that I would change if I were to do it again. First, I would do my research. Like I said, I didn't have a lot of time in Korea, so I didn't get to do my research. Also, there are parts of my surgery results that I'm not completely happy with. For example, my eyes are not even, and this is something I notice every time I film, and it really bothers me, but basically the left eye is an in outline, and the right eye is an outline. My left eye is smaller than my right eye. And also, my nose is a little slanted. This isn't something you guys can notice probably, but I do feel like it is a little bit slanted. The nose is a little bit too high than I expected. Apparently, they put in 3.5 millimeters of silicone Silicone. and usually for a natural nose people put in 2 to 2.5 and I found this out after I got my surgery yeah this is why I regret not doing my research also I would say the nose shape is not exactly what I wanted like I said I wanted the cheekbone line but I do feel like my nose is a little bit of a pan bason honestly I don't blame the doctors for making these mistakes they're not even mistakes I don't even know but these are something I notice every day So basically for my eyes, obviously it's uneven and I got an infection on the epicanthoplasty area, basically my inner corners on my right eye. It was like a really big pimple on my inner corner. It just looked very disgusting and it hurt. I got rid of it by taking antibiotics, but still, it looked disgusting and I always had to wear like a band-aid or a pimple patch over it because I wanted to cover it. For the nose, I wouldn't say there were any side effects. It's just after I got my nose done, my head just hurt really bad and I was feeling nauseous and this lasted a month after my surgery. I looked it up and there weren't any cases of that, so I don't know why it was like that for for me. I think it's just like I'm really sensitive to like, anesthesia or something. I didn't have any bad side effects for the chin liposuction, but for the jaw Botox, I had a really bad side effect where I could not move my right mouth muscle. I don't know what it's called in medical terms, but basically when I smiled, I looked like 
like only the left side of my mouth would go up i think when they were putting in the gel botox they touched a nerve that they shouldn't have and when the gel botox went away three months later i could finally smile again but for those three months i could not smile and i just looked like a freak every time i would smile or laugh this is why you have to look for a good hospital i do want to tell you guys not to expect too much with plastic surgery i feel like before i got surgery i expected so much from it like i thought i was going to turn into a different person i would joke with my friends that i'm going to think of a new name for myself but honestly i'm still the same my eyes look the same my nose is a little different but i would say overall i just look like the same person and it, it's not like a huge difference also that is why it did not fix any of my insecurities i would say for the flat nose part it did fix it in a way but i do feel like my nose is a little too high now like i said so i do feel like feeling insecure is something i have to deal with for the rest of my life and it's not something i can fix and from this i learned that I don't think I'm going to be getting any plastic surgery from now on anytime soon. So that is it for this Q&A. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this answered a lot of your questions. I will see you in my next video. Bye!